Hello, my name is John Lord and um, today we are, in this very rainy day, we are going to talk about roses. And now, the thing about roses is, okay, we divide roses up into three different categories. One that get, ones that get a lot of disease, ones that get a small amount of disease and ones that get no disease. Ones that get a lot of disease, I throw over the wall, I don't use. People say, I have a rose, gets disease every year, all the leaves fall off, what do I do? Get rid. There's life's too short, there's lots of roses that either have no disease or have a little amount of disease. Problem in Ireland, and you couldn't illustrate it better, it's rain. Because we have rain, we get black spot on our roses. And black spot, if it's very, if it's very in high concentrations, all the leaves fall off the roses and the roses look terrible. And we don't grow roses to eat, we grow roses to look nice, and if a rose looks terrible, you're better off having no rose. So I've been through, like everybody else, I, over the years, tried lots of different roses, and I've been disappointed and disappointed and disappointed. And now, when I plant a rose, the first thing I ask, will it get bad black spot? And if it does, I won't grow it. Now, there's an example. Funnily enough, we have an example here. This is flower carpet white, which is inclined to get a bit of black spot. Now it looks a little bit miserable because I've st I haven't sprayed it at all this year. I don't tend to spray roses, I've given up. The only thing I do with roses is I put on a product called Uncle Tom's Rose Tonic, which is not a fungicide or an insecticide, it just strengthens up the leaves and helps them. But I've been so busy this year, I sort of neglected to do it. But if I had sprayed that with Uncle Tom's Rose Tonic a few times, we wouldn't have got this black spot. Now, the new foliage, is, as you can see, is perfect. What we need to do here, half an hour's work, get rid of the old bits. Now, the thing about uh, white flowers, just mention it here, not just do it roses. Problem with white flowers, a unique problem with white flowers, as they fade, the fady parts go slightly brown, and they're very obvious against the whiteness. So white flowers are always that little bit tricky. And you have to be careful with it. Now, I have a rose here called Wild Edric, and it's based on a Japanese Rogosa rose. It's actually a David Austin rose. It's based on Japanese Rogosa rose. You can see it's finished flowering. So there's a, a rose hips coming on it, but there's a new there's new flowers developing now. Because it has Japanese Rogosa parentage, it doesn't get black spot on mildew. Now, if you grow Rogosa roses, you'll have no problems. But the problem with Rogosa roses, they don't look like rosy roses. They're that little bit different. So everybody wants proper roses. When I show people, when I'm selling roses, when I, people, when I show people the Rogosa roses, they say, well, what about the normal roses? I want normal roses. 